Now here are the amounts that I use. Um, we use three cups of all-purpose flour. We used four tablespoons of turmeric. We used one teaspoon of salt. We used two teaspoons of sugar. And I used three packs of beef bouillon cube seasoning. Now here is the cold stick and a half of butter. We're going to chop them up into really, really small pieces and add that to the flour mixture. I'm making a mess. We're going to use our hands and we're going to incorporate the flour mixture into the butter. And you want to squeeze it together until you're left with nothing but a bowl of crumbs. Okay. So it should look something like that, okay? There should be no flour mixture left, all right? Look at that nice, authentic yellow color. That's the way you want your bee patty crust to look, nice and yellow. So it had that nice Jamaican, authentic yellow color, okay? And you're going to just massage it in really, really well. Um, again, if you feel like you need more water because it's too dry, then just add a little more of the cup of water um if you feel like you added too much water just add a little bit of flour until you're left with a ball of dough the texture of clay dough okay that's the texture you want it to be right there okay just like that it's nice and yellow that turmeric gave it a really nice color we're going to wrap this with some plastic wrap and then we're going to sit it in the refrigerator while we focus on the other ingredients that we're going to need for our Jamaican beef patties. All right. Uh, you want it to sit in the refrigerator for at least a half an hour to an hour. For best results. Okay. Um, what we're going to focus on now is our vegetables. You're going to need some scallions, a.k.a. green onions. Okay. You're going to need one medium onion. You're going to need two scotch bonnet peppers. You're going to need some minced garlic. And we're going to chop this up into really, really small pieces. Okay. Chop it up into really, really small pieces like that. And we're going to be frying the green onions, a.k.a. scallions. Okay. Um, if you don't like real, real hot Jamaican bee patties, then you can just use one scotch bonnet pepper. But I like to use two. I like mine's on the spicy side. Okay. So we're going to chop up our onion like this. Chop it down. We're going to chop them into small pieces as well. And by the way, if you don't like your Jamaican bee patties really, really hot, you don't have to use the Scotch bonnet peppers at all. But for authentic Jamaican bee patties, you got to use the Scotch bonnet peppers. And we're going to also use about a teaspoon and a half or even two teaspoons of minced garlic. Okay. So those are our vegetables. Okay, let's focus on now the seasonings that you're going to be seasoning your ground beef with. You're going to need some onion powder. The paprika is going to give it color. Okay, you're going to need some ground Jamaican allspice to give it that Jamaican flavor. We're going to be using the sodium free beef bouillon cube seasoning to give it that beef flavor. Salt and pepper. Okay, you're going to need ketchup. That's going to balance out the taste. Add a little sweetness to it. And you can use breadcrumbs if you need to stretch the ground beef out. You're making it for a lot of people. Okay. And we're going to be using one to one and a half pounds of ground beef. Okay. So what we're going to do first is get a pan. You're going to place your pan over high heat. Yes, high heat. And to the pan, you're going to add one-fourth cup of vegetable oil. And what we're going to do is fry our vegetables a little bit. Not really fry them, but, you know, 
You want them to be translucent before adding the ground beef. So we're gonna add the vegetables, the onions, the scallions, scotch bonnet peppers, and the minced garlic. We're gonna add that to the pan. And we're gonna let that fry on high heat for about uh, three minutes or so, okay? Then you're gonna add your ground beef. Okay, so I'm adding my ground beef now. And here's the thing I want you guys to know. You do not season your ground beef until the pink color is gone, until your ground beef turns brown, okay? So once it's cooked all the way through and it turns brown, that's when you add your seasoning. Okay? That's always the way I was taught to do it, but I don't really think it matter. But, yeah, I was always taught to add the seasoning after the beef turns brown. Like that right there. Okay? Now, as far as the amount of seasonings or the measurements for the seasonings, um... I'm just going to tell you how much I usually use. I only use a small amount of pepper because you already got scotch bonnet peppers there. So it's going to make it really, really spicy and hot. So one teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of onion powder. I like to use tea, two teaspoons of salt as well. Um, but you can add a little more or a little less. I can't tell you how much salt to use. For the paprika that's going to give it color, I add about two teaspoons of that. I add like two teaspoons of everything except the pepper and the ground Jamaican allspice seasoning because the ground Jamaican allspice seasoning is really, really strong and that'll overwhelm the taste and the flavor of the beef, okay? Um, the sodium-free beef bouillon cube seasoning, that gives it a nice beefy taste. That's why I add that. And I usually add about three packs of that, Okay. So add three packs of the beef bouillon cube seasoning. We're going to stir this in. And at this point, it's going to be smelling real, real good. Sometimes I add about two teaspoons of thyme seasoning, but I didn't have none, so I didn't use it. And sometimes I don't use it, you know, unless I'm making it for other people. I don't like the thyme. Some people do. Um... You're going to add about one-fourth to a half a cup of breadcrumbs. That's optional, only if you're trying to stretch it, okay? And you're going to add about three tablespoons of ketchup. It's not going to sweeten it, and it's not going to destroy the flavor that you want your Jamaican beef patties to have, but it's going to add a little bit of sweetness to it to balance out all of these flavors, okay? Gives it the perfect taste. So stir that in. Now what you're going to do is you're going to reduce your heat to low heat. Okay, reduce it to low heat and you're going to add about a half a cup to a cup of water. And you're going to be left with a nice gravy. Look at that. Oh. <sighs> Smell and taste so good. Look at that. So at this point, you can give it a taste test. You feel like you need to add any more ingredients. If it's too hot, you can add a little more ketchup to balance it out. Um... You feel like you need to add a little more salt, you can do so, you know. Now we're going to focus on the dough. Okay, this is the crust for our Jamaican beef patties. Now, I'm going to cut this up into five pieces. Depends on how many beef patties you're trying to make. Um, I'm going to cut mine up into five like that. And it does stiffen up. In the refrigerator it's been in the refrigerator for a little while now so it's a little stiff what you're going to do is you're going to put a lot of flour on the surface because you want to get some flour on the bottom of the dough and on the top because that's what forms and cultivates the texture okay so you want to just stretch it out a little bit to the right stretch it out a little bit to the left stretch it out a little bit to the north the south, the east, and the west. The north, the south, the east, and the west. Now, you don't want it to be too flat. It depends on how thick or flat you want your crust. If you want your crust to be really, really thin, then flatten it all the way out. You want it to be kind of thick, then don't flatten it out or don't press too hard um, on your rolling pin. All right? Do be aware that 
when you put it in the oven, it is going to thicken up a little bit. All right. You're going to get your bowl. You're going to press your bowl down and you're going to cut the dough from around the bowl. And you're going to be left with that nice circular shape there. We're going to get our ground beef. And usually I add about three tablespoons. Okay. And you're going to press that down. Add about three tablespoons. Don't want to add too much because then you're not going to be able to fold it. Some people even add a little bit of cheese, a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese. That's the way I like mine with, but I don't think they do that in Jamaica. I'm not sure. So you're going to fold it and you're going to press the ends. Okay. A lot of people brush a little bit of uh, egg wash on the ends, but I find that you really don't need to do that if you press it down hard enough. And you're going to press it down with a fork. Okay. Set the ends stick together. They don't come loose when you're baking it. So press it down with a fork. And that's the way your beef patty should look. Look at that. Look pretty, don't it? Mm hmm. That's the way you want your beef patty to look. Just like that. And by the way, guys, the filling was absolutely delicious. I really love the way I made this filling. Mm. The ground beef on the inside. Mm. Mm. But those are your beef patties. You're going to sit them on some baking paper. You can put them inside of a baking pan um, or a stone pan if you want, but I usually don't do it. And this is the final result. This is the way they came out. Here's our Jamaican style beef patties. Okay. You're going to bake them on 400 degrees for about mm, 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. Or until the crust hardens. Okay. That's how you know they done. Okay. Also, to test to see if they done, what some people do is like stick a fork in it. And if no dough don't come out, then you know they done. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this recipe. I really enjoyed them. I really love the way the pea patties came out. They were really, really good. Um, this is the way I usually make them. This is the way I was taught to make them. And uh, yeah, those are your Jamaican style beef patties. Look at that beef. Mm. Mm. And you can rub some butter on top and then bake them if you wanted to have a nice brown crust. But I don't like my crust to get too dark, so I don't do that. Hope you guys enjoy this recipe.